What's going on guys? I decided that I was going to go ahead and do a Mario 64 run for you. And then I was going to go ahead and talk about it a little bit on stream. Or, well, I, I guess this is a video. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I don't know if I'm a streamer or YouTuber or whatever it may be. I decided to go ahead and go about doing a Mario 64 run through. And I will say, this is also a somewhat long video. I apologize for that too, but... This video took so long to do, or I, I guess stream it, I would say. But I kind of just wanted to speed it up because it did take me about three, three and a half hours almost to go ahead and do this entire stream. And I'll say, holy shit, it has been so freaking long since I've played Super Mario 64. I can't believe that it took me so long to play it again. This game has always been my go-to game. This is the first video game that I've ever played in my entire life. This is the first console game that I've ever had. And it it's still beautiful. Even though it's on the Switch version. Oh my god, I kept <laughs> I kept jumping off. Even though it's on the Switch version, it it still is a really good game. And that that's what I still enjoy about this, is that it's still a really good game. And I'm glad that, you know, I actually have it for a new console that I can, you know, stream it and play certain things on it with you guys. Because it's something that I've wanted to share for a very long time, and now I finally get to. I decided that I kind of wanted to practice a little bit and start figuring out how to do stuff with speedruns, because, I mean, hell, why the hell not? I, whenever I first got on YouTube, I was always interested in seeing, like, Mario videos, you know, Super Mario Sunshine videos, Super Mario 64, and then that's how I got into seeing, like, the speedruns, and whenever people were beating this game with, like, 16 stars and whatnot, it was crazy. That, that was the, the most unbelievable thing I had ever seen, because I never thought that someone could beat it with that many stars, but people had proven me wrong. And so I was like, okay, hey, you know, that's pretty cool. Maybe one day I get to do that same thing. And whenever I started doing YouTube, whenever I was a kid, I never had face cam on, but um, I was always recording me playing like Super Mario 64 DS. Um, I was going to try it with Super Mario 64, but my friend didn't really want to record because we were just being stupid with YouTube. We were like, who cares about making videos, you know? But... Then I finally had the opportunity to, after all these years, to go ahead and do it. And it it's probably one of the best things that I've ever got to do. I've always loved Mario. I will always cherish Mario games. That's why my old channel is called Wombo Mario. Because Mario was one of the games that, you know, really started my gaming journey. And I, I've just always loved it. Bob on Battlefield was always one of those maps where it was... Like, as soon as you jumped in there, it was the best map in the world. And I know exactly how to do pretty well everything in here except for the glitches. I've never been good at glitches. However, I've always been good at getting the 100 coins and then another star immediately afterwards. I always like to save the 100 coin star for uh, the 8 red coins because you can go around and you can get a shit ton more coins. And you can potentially just go ahead and leave with 2 stars right off the bat. And it only takes, like maybe I, I'll give it 10 minutes at tops, but sometimes not even that, but it it's, it's still pretty good. Nonetheless, right here, I've been trying to get onto the Island because usually what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to get the wing cap, come back here, and then you're supposed to jump on the Island and fly through the rings, the rings of coins. And I wanted to try and cheese it a little bit because I didn't have the time to go and get the wing cap and then come all the way back. I just wanted to be done. And so right here, as you could see, since I'm flying all over the place, is I'm trying to get the perfect angle. And I keep falling, which pisses me off even more. But I'm trying to get the perfect angle so that way I could go ahead and uh, get all five coins or five circles of coins. But it is difficult, especially if you don't have the wing cap. That, that's why they say have the wing cap in order to do that. Um, just because that it's really difficult to do. As you can see, I've went back and forth now with trying to get the stupid last coin. Now, if you want to know a trick with it, I finally figured this out th uh, during the stream. Is that if you aim it up just enough to where it's 
like it just cleared the other coins on the uh, fourth ring, just like that, you will hit the fifth one every time. But it took me a little bit to figure that out, especially with the different controls, because I'm playing on a Switch. It's way different than the Nintendo 64 console and <laughs> everything else. It's it's not that easy. So, yeah, it's it's still a pretty damn good game. I went ahead, and since I had seven stars, all you need is just the amount of stars, and you can unlock all these doors. I figured I'd go ahead and get all of them. The Princess Peach slide, that's a pretty easy one. That one, you get two stars. I believe it's if you're under 20 seconds getting to the bottom, then you'll get that second star. This time, I didn't get it, but like I already got it the first time, so it wasn't that big deal. that big of a deal for me, sorry. And since I got all the stars that I needed, I said, screw it, let's go ahead and go to Bowser's World. I do mess up here. Uh, yep, I, I fell right there. Yeah, that was that was a careless mistake. I should have been watching where I was going, but that actually gave me a good opportunity to go back and get the red coins without getting hit by fire. This is a scary jump. You jump over to that pin and then you jump back. You have to do the long jump every time or else you will more than likely not make it. I've seen people make it on a triple jump, but it's very risky. So now you can see I'm about to go ahead and jump on up there, get the star, got up to 10. You need 70 stars to actually complete the game because the 70th star will get you access to the last Bowser world. So if you're ever wondering why people are doing like any percentage 70 stars, that's why. That's just for the people who, I guess, don't really know Super Mario 64. I think most people at this point know it, but there are probably those bit that don't. Lethal Lava Land, that eight red coin one, is just in a big old puzzle. So I said, screw it, I'm going to go ahead and get it done because that's the easiest star that you could get in this game. Hot-footed into the volcano, yeah, just... I just wanted to go ahead and get all the vo volcano stars taken care of. I think I've... Yeah, yeah, I hit the fire up there. So then I had to go back. Which really sucks, because you can never tell whenever that fire is going to come. You just gotta jump and then jump, 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 and go before you get hit. This one, I kind of cheesed this one too, because you're supposed to roll on that log right there, but instead I just went ahead and long jumped it, which pretty much does the same thing. But if you don't do it... A precise long jump, it's going to like be really bad for you in the end because you will not be able to you will not be able to make it over to that star. Afterwards I got all the bullies. I didn't end up getting a hundred coins in this one. I could go back and get a hundred coins, but this account is literally like not me playing around like, oh I need to get a hundred coins on each map. This is I'm practicing to do my own speed run of this. Make sure you always go and talk to that toad whenever you're done in Lethal Lava Land, if that's what you want to do. He always gives you a star. Well, the, all, always the one time, anyway. <clears throat> Alright, so I got the invisible cap. I just kind of hung out and then just fell. I could go and get the star, but really all I needed that world for was to actually get the cap and then uh, just get back to the main area. I tried to use MIPS right there to glitch through the wall, but because of the Nintendo Switch version, they actually have prevented people from doing that glitch. So MIPS was useless to me, but fuck that rabbit. That is probably one of the easiest stars that nobody knows about until you're going to that specific star on the map, and it's like, okay, you're supposed to watch for wa uh, rolling rocks. And then, of course, it's obvious at that point. Dory, I love the animal to death, but she's bad at turning. Like, I don't know if you guys who are watching this have ever played and tried to mess around with Dory on the 64. She cannot turn worth a shit. Alright, so I got that, and I decided to go ahead and go back the way I came. Because now I got the metal cap, and there's actually a room right here where you got a long jump and get another star. That star is also another easy one, but you definitely have to have the metal cap for it. Unless you're really good and somehow manage to get him to ground pound on it through the water. But I 
personally have not been able to do that. So I don't know if it's even possible anymore, but I think there are people who have actually done that before. Shifting sand land can do suck a damn dick. Trying to jump over there to that pyramid is a bitch. And I decided since I was able to do the triple jump right there, I would go ahead and get the one on top of the pyramid. So this one, it like I said, it's terrible trying to get over there. I actually didn't mean to go in here. I was actually trying to go for the talons of the big bird, but I'm kind of glad that I did go in here because that gave me the extra star. Um, Pretty much in here, you just got to go through all the bullshit, get the star up at the very top of the pyramid. Now I finally go for the talon. And this one, you just got to wait for the bird. If you go back, if you guys don't know it, I'm also going to like bring in facts and stuff just in case if you guys don't know it. If you go back to that world and you uh, deal with that bird, he will actually uh, take your cap like a monkey will whenever you get to the third area. So you got to watch out for that. Don't let the bird take your cap or else you're going to get a lot more damage done. Womp's Fortress is also another easy one, but I didn't really feel like going there right away. I decided to go ahead and save it for this next time. And it, like I said, it's a piece of cake. This one, there, there is a way for you to get into the cage without the owl, but I was just being lazy and I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm going to take the owl with me. And he made it. But you gotta time that just right in order to get Mario to fall in there. Alright, so now I'm kind of just finishing up in there. I don't believe that I got the um, 100 coin star. I think I was aiming for it and then I just never did it. Or maybe I did. I can't remember. I've slept since then. I can't really remember what I've done. Okay, yeah, I believe I did. Yeah, so, like I said, it's always easiest to go ahead and get the 8 red coins along with getting the 100 coin star because it just makes more sense. Yeah, right here was kind of a pain. I wanted to make it an even uh, 100 as much as possible. And it was just a pain to do. But I managed to get to the right spot. Bullet Bill went through me, jumped down to the ground, got the next star. So Womp's Fortress is done. And whenever you have 30 stars, you're able to go into the big star area. And then you got to swim, which I hate all the water levels. It doesn't matter what Mario game it is. I hate all water levels. I used to be able to get onto the submarine just from this. If you would jump the right direction, you could actually jump from the back fin onto the submarine. But I could never get it. And for some reason, I ground pounded on that breakable block. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> While I was here, I decided to go ahead and go back because I have both the invisible cap and the metal cap. And there's one star that for some reason I always like to get because it was so simple. And it was getting both caps on at the same time and getting the star. Now we're on to the second Bowser. Decided to go ahead and get all the red coins like I did the first one. Unfortunately, I did not get the eight red coins on the last one. You will see here in a little bit. Um, I missed the very first one at the uh, beginning of the level. And I was just so mad because I couldn't believe I missed it. And so I said, you know what, screw it. I'm not even going to get it. So that playthrough, I would have had like 71 stars if I would have done it right. But I didn't. This Bowser is always a bitch because if you miss, then he keeps tilting the thing. And you got to keep going back and forth. And it's such a pain in the ass. But it's always good whenever we get it finished. And I decided to go ahead and take a break right there. I needed to get up and stretch, have a cigarette, you know. All right. So this one really is just the penguin at the very top. You just got to take them all the way down to the bottom. Yeah, you're going to get a lot of damage from jumping that high. However, it's not enough to completely kill you. Next, you go in there. After you get done with the regular slide, you get to meet the penguin. If you try to cheese it like I just did right there and jump off the side with the penguin, 
for one, he will knock you off just because that's the game's doing, but he will say that you cheated if you decide to take a shortcut. So you cannot cheese it like I was doing here. And also, now that I know that, I'm not going to do that for my next run of the speed run because I know that it was cheating and it cost me like three or four lives, I think. I can't remember. But basically, if you do that, you've got to go all the way back in and then do it again. It's just as bad as losing a life because you didn't lose a life, but you still had to redo the entire damn thing. I think having to redo the entire thing, even without losing a life, is like way worse because like you did so much progress but then you fucked up now if you jump off the edge like i did if you get over here and you get to the right angle you can like jump move the control stick back so that way you can get on that platform and then kick and then you can actually land there and take care of uh the wall kicks will work star not a lot of people do that. The way that they were intending for you to do it was to go and get a cannon uh, opened up and then shoot over to that platform. I know how to do the easier method, and I call that the easier method because I don't want to go and look for the goddamn cannon. So that's why I always jump off the edge. This one, if you want to get the ship up, you got to get that stupid eel out. He is such a bitch. I hate him so much. So I decided to just hang out a little bit, and the eel was out. This one, I was surprised that I hit all of those in the right order, but it just seemed right for me to go that direction with them, and that's how I was able to get it. That was the cleanest, cleanest that I've ever done that on a Super Mario 64 run. And like I said, I, I have probably played this game dozens, if not hundreds of times before, and like a lot of this that I did last night, yeah, it still took me a little over three hours to complete it, but it was... It was pretty good. This one, I got to go and get the stupid metal cap because I needed to jump and get into that jet stream so I could get that star. I figured, you know what, screw it, why not? Then I go back down in here and I come back up in here. I do mess up on the chests in here. They weren't, it wasn't as clean of a run as I wanted it to be, but I did manage to get it. Didn't die. It's all good. This one, the, can the eel come out to play? I never do it because you got to follow that eel all the way around in the ocean to try and get the damn star that's on its tail. So I said, fuck that. I'm not doing that. I decided to go for this pillar, which, by the way, I don't know if this is a pain for anybody else, but on a Switch, have you guys have a hard had a hard time with, you know, movement? Because Jesus Christ, using a cannon on this game with a Nintendo Switch controller is a bitch. I hate it. I didn't realize how much I hated it until I actually did it. And I was like, what the hell? Tiny huge island could go suck a dick. I hate this map so much. But because I needed the stars, I went ahead and did some. I think I only did like three stars in here. And this is where you get to first meet Wiggler. Wiggler is a very interesting character. He, he's like a giant penis that gets angry whenever you step on him. Nobody knows why. So I got to the very tip top of Tiny Huge Island. I got the shell again. Us usually using the shell and then going on a slight incline like I did at that wall. It usually works out really well in our favor. I like doing that because like it can get you up to the top and you don't have to be Big Mario. You don't have to keep jumping in the pipes and shit. This one, oh, that's what it was. I was trying to figure out where the fifth area was for me to... Uh, grab for the five secret areas but i couldn't find it so i said screw it this map it's it's an invisible painting on a wall every time you go in here make sure to get this star because that is the easiest one it looks complex from afar but really all you got to do is just jump to the very top and you'll end up getting it i don't like the snowman he keeps blowing me off and making me lose my cap so fuck that dude as i decided to go in the igloo Afterwards, I decided to go ahead and jump over here because there's an easy star in a box. The only problem is, is that if you land in this water, the water hurts you because it's freezing water. So you got to jump on one of those stupid floaty things and then fly your way over there. This map, 
is pretty nice. It's not too awful bad, except the mushrooms right here. If you do what I did, it sucks because you're just about to the end. You're just about to get all the red coins and then you fall off the mushroom. There's too much that you could fall off in in this course. It sucks. <clears throat> I try to go for the red coins as soon as possible because it's not an easy star to get, but it's one where if I have to get it, at least I don't have to do it again. This is the monkey I was telling you about. Basically, if you talk to him, he'll grab your hat and take off with it. You need to try and get your hat back because if not, you're going to get extra damage whenever you get hit. So, yeah, it's it's good. He says you're choking him, but a little, you know, friskiness for the monkey never hurt anybody. I thought the painting was right there, but there's a secret slide in here. And it takes you all the way back to the beginning of the level, but you get a star at the end of it, so, you know, who cares? Usually, in my opinion, it's just easier to go ahead and climb right here because otherwise you got to do an extra jump across the waterfall. But just go up to the top of the mountain and there's a free star right there if you guys just want to start with that. I like to... If, if there's one that's incredibly easy or if there's one that's super difficult, I like to get those out of the way because the simpler ones, I can get them at any time because it's not going to affect me, really. This one, you just talk to the second monkey. He doesn't take your cap and... Obviously, you get a star. Also, at this point, we're at 54 stars, so we're just about there to our goal. Like I said, you need to have 70 in order to advance to the end, so we're just about there. And after looking at this playthrough, I just realized that I could have probably got that star that was at the big mushroom that was in the middle of, like, nowhere out there in the sky. This one, I've always hated. I, I hated trying to go through all the shit because I never knew where the obstacles were. If you put it on Mario Cam, you can't see a goddamn thing. You just got to hope for the best. This world also, for those of you who have not played this, this world, if you happen to jump into the painting, either at the top, middle, or bottom, it controls the water level. So the reason why the water was so high right here is because I jumped at the very top of the painting. If you jump in at the bottom, as you can see, the water is all the way down and like there's nothing that anything can swim in. However, whenever you shoot over to this little area, if the water is down, you have a really good chance of landing and ha losing a decent amount of health. So just watch out for that. You can get the water to go down right here. This is the old town. I did figure out those freaking bricks right there. You could have gone through, the through them whenever you have the invisible cap. I never knew that. Out of all this time, I thought that the invisible cap, you had to go all the way around and don't run out of time on the cap so that way you could go ahead and get in that cage. No, you could go through the freaking walls. I was like, what the hell, dude? That's bullshit. Anyway, you go ahead and go back down here. I don't really know why I got the metal cap that time. It wasn't really necessary, but now you just got to look for all the red coins. All the red coins are in this one area, so you don't have to worry about going to two separate areas to look for red coins. The red coins are all right here, out of the way, ready to go. But you just got to wall jump and kick and scream and lose sanity in order to get them. But if you time your wall jumps just right, which... As a kid, I was terrible at it. Don't get me wrong, my wall jumps were always bad whenever I was a kid. I was not able to do wall jumps. Um, if you actually master those in this game, then you would do really well. Um, I decided to go to Big Boo's Haunt um, just to go ahead and get those out of the way. That was the only older map that I have not done from the very beginning. Um, you just go ahead and kill all these boos and then King Boo comes out and you kill him. It's not anything like crazy but i will say that playing this game still always brings me nostalgia it's always great i love every bit of it i've missed this game so much and it was it, it was just a masterpiece for its time and i'm glad that nintendo decided to revive it as many times as they did because if they didn't and i wouldn't be able to play this again i would be so upset by the way, um, the toad that I was at at the very top of the castle um, that you guys had seen, 
Uh, he gave me an extra star. Ma like I said, make sure to talk to the certain toads so that way you can get extra stars because those are just easy. All you got to do is talk to them. You don't even have to listen to what they say. You could just press the action button and just get through it pretty damn quick. And all they do is just give you a star. It's that simple. All right, here is the giant eyeball. That guy, he, he's pretty easy. You just run around him in circles, make him dizzy, and he's gone. Um, I didn't end up doing the red coin one here. It's very tedious. I don't feel like playing around with red coins. Uh, King Boo right there. If you get to the very top, all you gotta do is kill him. You get an extra star. You you kill this dude like three fucking times and you get three stars. Like, they just really want you to destroy King Boo. Like, I don't know what the hell is up with that. I guess I decided to go back here. I was attempting to also get the 100 coin star, but after a bit, I decided, nope, you know what, screw it. We're just going to get the red coins. That's it. I do mess up at one point, though. So, um, I believe it's coming up right here. Yeah. Because used to, there used to be a wind stream that would pick you up and bring you over there. Well, the wind stream didn't go by. So I decided to take a different approach because I'm like, well, I'm not going to jump from there. I'm going to jump from the easiest spot. I got all eight red coins, which I technically could have gone up right there, but it's just easier to go all the way around. So that way you don't have to jump across the bridge and shit. Afterwards, I went all the way back down here and it turned out that Mips was back. I completely forgot Mips was back for a second time, so chased him around the second time you go after him it takes a lot longer than the first the first time he's just a weak little piece of shit but this time he's just like oh hey yeah yeah you you thought you were gonna get me i'm gonna juke you afterwards i decided to come back in here decided to go ahead and get this star it's not that bad of a star you just gotta go through the gas chamber which that sounds really bad saying it out loud but whatever This one, I, I don't know what I was doing here. I was thinking about doing the Lonely Mushroom, but I don't remember where the dude was in order to get that cannon. Right here, I thought that it was Rainbow Ride, and I was like, no, I don't want to do this one, because you got to go through the eight red coins again. And like I said, it's tedious, it's bullshit, I hated it. If you want to go into Rainbow Ride, it's the one that doesn't have the light shooting out of the hole. Rainbow Ride is also a bitch. However, I do prefer Rainbow Ride over TikTok Clock any day of the week. That's why I didn't actually do TikTok Clock in <laughs> the freaking uh, playthrough. Like, the only time I went in there was to just exit the course and go back to the main area. Otherwise, it was like, nope, I'm not doing it. Getting the red coins here is also tedious, but it's mostly just in this maze. It's not like it's really that big of an ordeal so i just went in and got these red coins and besides it was the last star anyway last star i needed in order to get to the top floor so i said screw it let's go ahead and get them and so after that i knew it was time let's go ahead and go up the stairs get into this area and boom shakalaka we're running so at the very beginning right there there was a big old block that you're supposed to move yeah, that's supposed to bring you to another red coin. Well, I completely forgot about that, and I didn't do it. After seeing this little issue right there, and seeing that I could have just jumped, I just went ahead and went back. I was going for all the red coins, and then whenever I got to the very end and I realized I forgot one, I was just like, uh, yeah, that's bullshit. Right there, sorry about that. I was checking my uh, battery percentage on my controllers. But yeah, a after I realized that it was missing, I was just like, you know what, screw it. Yeah, because there was the red coin right there. But afterwards, I was like, nope, I'm not going to do it. I'm just running through. I just want to be done. This is wasting time. This Bowser is also a pain in the ass, just like the second one. But this one, you got to kill him three times. And if you... uh. If you're not paying attention, the third time he hits all like the pieces of the platform, which you'll see here, he'll hit all of them off, and then it turns into a star. And if you're not paying attention, you could fall off the goddamn thing. 
Now, if you miss on here, he also jumps back and lands on the platform and takes a chunk out. But it essentially goes to a star anyway. It's just, it's a pain trying to get him right there. And he just keeps taking out all those chunks. Now, I hit him the second time. I really needed to get him over to the other side. And I kept missing. And, oh my god. Yeah, he kept hitting me with those jumps and then the fire. And, yeah, it, it was bullshit. But this time, I got him. He gives you a giant star, you hit it, you get the wing cap, and you fly away home free. This took me a little over three hours. Probably it would have only taken about three hours or maybe less. Just because that I did take a break in the middle and I just kind of was running around doing stupid shit. Next, I want to try and get faster than my time. Um, I want to be able to stream this the next time for about two and a half hours, if I can get to that. I'm just going to skip all the extra bullshit and just go about my business. So, yeah, that, I just wanted to go ahead and show that to you guys. Let you guys know, like, what I've been doing. And, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to do some more. I'm, I'm thinking I'm probably going to live stream it on YouTube this time. But I want to get this video out because I want to show you guys, like, what I'm planning on doing. Because, like I said, it's something that I've always looked into and I've wanted to do a speed run before. But I've just never had the opportunity or the know-how or the willpower. So I figured now is the time. It's time to speed run. Speed run this motherfucker. All right? All right. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. And we'll see you in the next video.